Not a shred of makeup I am wearing today. However, I found so many really cute, cool, creative websites that I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I've made a video. Let's make it. All right, today I am going to be talking about five creative websites, browser-based. You can use this with any device, iPad, iPhone, Chromebook, whatever, that are just kind of fun, especially if you're in a little bit of a creative rut and you need a different outlet to make yourself a little bit more, I don't know, get the bounce in your step for creative juices. I don't know what that sentence was. Either way, either way, if you need something to kind of get you back in the artistic vibe again, this is kind of what I found to kind of get me out of my normal comfort zone for art, but it's just kind of fun and it's just on whatever you have. So here are my five like random art things that I discovered. So let's get going. So the first one that we have in this group is uh, just a, a fun, we'll start with something kind of fun and basic, but just kind of, kind of like a color palette, get us started. And that is coolers. Uh, I know that this has been featured in a lot of different websites before. I think the first time I saw it was on Mango Street and they used the color palette to help get them started on what they were going to have their models wear. So for some photos. So I've seen it used in a lot of different settings and you go and you can sign up or you can just do the generator for free. I think that if you sign up, it'll save your color palettes. And so you can have a little bit more, um, like creativity with it. Uh, so like you can take a picture of it. Uh, you can kind of click on it. If you press the space bar on a, on a computer, it changes it. And so you can kind of get a random one, but then you can go through and you can switch them around and you can add another color between them. Um, I just think it's kind of a fun one, especially if you are just not sure what you're going to do for your colors. So that's my first one. Second one, we're going to go for something a little bit more structured, and that is the pixel art. Now, this one was one that was shown to me by a student, and I thought it was so fun. Um, when you get to it, you actually uh, get to essentially see the pin board of other people's creations. Oh my gosh, aren't they fun? Oh my word. I just, I love them all. I love this pixel art style. I love that it's kind of coming back in. I'm seeing it in a lot of like artistic, uh, like, uh, pin boards and Instagrams and on TikTok and stuff. And so I've been really enjoying seeing people make these and it's really simple. You just start your drawing. You can choose your size just by new. Um, it looks like I saved a drawing. Pfft. I don't remember. Either way, we're going to say whatever. I know it wasn't good. You can bring in a file. So like, for instance, if you do a sketch, you can bring in that file and you can sketch it out. You can draw from scratch or you can even trace something else or something I've noticed that's really popular doing the pixel style is like a scene from a movie that then they do in the pixel style, which I think is really cool. So you could like do the Disney princesses, but then do it pixelated, which I think is really neat. Uh, so yeah, that is just one of the other ones. So if you want to kind of shake up your creative outlet. Um, the next one, we're going to go into the weird again. Uh, and that is, uh, Bo Momo. I don't know. Either way, uh, you get into this weird amorph amorphous floating ball design and you get in there and wherever your cursor goes, it kind of follows your cursor around. And then as soon as you click, it activates their color and they will then follow. So as soon as you like click on your cursor, it starts to draw and different things will do different designs. What? It's like an Etch-a-Sketch. It's just, there's, it's just so fun. Look at that. Oh, there's something just so entertaining about it. I don't know. Something about it is just so much fun to me. I really enjoyed this. I played with it for this, with this for way too long. So this is, like I said, kind of a weird one. Uh, Bo Momo. I think that's how you say it. All right. Now we're going to go into one again. That's a little bit more, um, traditional and kind of fun. And that is sculpt GL. Um, all these links will be below as well. And this is essentially like an easy blender and you pretty much treat it like uh, a sculpture. So I can build in when it, you, when you're just hovering, it's fine. This is right now is starting it from, uh, just a circle. I don't know. It kind of looks like a weird flesh ball. And here's like, you can have your, your inflate. You can then do like twist. 
So, you, so that is another one that's kind of fun. It reminds me of just like a super simple blender. And so if you just kind of want to play with 3D modeling, it's kind of a fun way to start. I mean, think about what you're doing before you start so it doesn't look like what I did, but either way. So that is my fourth browser-based tool. All right, my last one, again, we're going to end on something super fluffy and super random, and that is the jacksonpollock.org. That's all it's called. And you get on, and that's all it is. You just, you hover around and you make drip paint. I mean, it's got about the emotional zhuzh as the bongo cat, but you know what? I loved it. And then if you refresh, it starts it over and you can kind of do it again. The slower you go, the bigger the lines, the faster you go, the thinner the lines. Pretty simple. But anyway, those were my five little fun digital browser-based art creative things. And so I hope you found this interesting and uh, have fun exploring. Bye-bye.